have to stop sliding down the slippery slope of feeding ourselves by waving money in the air and hoping that somebody brings us something to eat. We have to be about the business of growing some of our own food and the fabric of our own communities. It's, it's not a day job, it's a way of life. If you're living in the same place that you're working right away, uh, it's not a good way to take a lot of time off. About 10 years ago, we went about the business of retiring the development rights on the farm. So there's restrictions on the deed now. No one will ever build a house anywhere on Indian Ladder Farms or conduct any other kind of a business. We have a lot of teenage kids. One of our things that we want to do here at the farm is be a first job for kids. 15 years old, don't know how to do anything, don't know anybody. Uh, have that kind of an experience. It's a contribution we can make. We also want to have a lot of people come here and participate in what we're doing. We don't have any way to get our message out there. We need to have somebody craft a megaphone so that the small number of people can make a big voice. And that's what Farm Bureau does. They make a huge voice and get people to pay attention to why we have to be doing the things we're doing. So I think that's the biggest benefit. Everybody wants to have various things in life, but a lot of people in farming are that group of people that want to do something worthwhile. And so that's where the reward is in the businesses. You're making a contribution and you're doing something that people appreciate and, uh, and that's worthwhile.